Precisely. Okay. I uh, happened to be watching the market very closely when this was going on. And I watched a, a stock called Procter & Gamble at $61 a share. And the next trade was at 37 And the next trade was at 39 Now, those don't come within those parameters that you set out. There, in other words, there weren't, there were, there, there, the stock drop wasn't significant enough to be included. The, um, my understanding is that Procter & Gamble declined 36% in three and a half minutes. Um, so the proposed um, circuit breakers of a 10% drop within a five-minute oh, period. Oh, yeah, you're proposed. Right. I'm talking it, about current. No, that, that's right. The, um, Procter & Gamble... Um, uh, also recovered back to that sixty dollars in yes, about. Yes, they did. Minute, I was just going to say it wound up uh, at sixty something that day. Uh, and what happened to the poor uh, person who sold at thirty-seven? That, that's right. They don't fall within the um, the sixty percent away from Correct. the last valid price threshold. I agree, which is again why we. Where's the market maker in Procter and Gamble? Where was the liquidity in the market maker? I, that would be a great question for the next panel of exchanges. Oh, okay. I'll wait to ask that the next panel. Uh, 